my channel if you're new here my name is Priyash and I make videos ranging from lifestyle fashion and home DIYs every single week this is a channel where I teach you about self land self development self efficiency and welcome back to my channel and also guys a little disclaimer this week was a little hectic and tiring so I thought I really want to boost up my energy so I was in a painting mode this time I haven't been a long time but it was fun again to be in that good old mood so yes guys today's projects are a little bit inspired from boho minimal art piece that i really like and abstract pieces as well i didn't mention that but abstract pieces as well so i have come with three easy i always say that but three easy minimal boho but chic and also an abstract pieces that you can try these are pretty much easy if you are not into the game of paintings and all i don't know about sketches do that consider in painting i don't know but i'm not also good at that but these are things that i really like and you can also do because it, they are so simple but they are really bold so i think you can try and have fun so without further ado let's jump into the first project so hello from the voiceover so for this project i have taken this canvas board but you can also take a stretched canvas i don't have that right now so i'm gonna work with this and i also got this new set of brushes for detailing and for the inspo i saw this piece over the internet but it was way too pricey as you can see but we are gonna be making it for less so to start i took some white paint and mixed it with some brown to create a creamy color and i applied it generously over the canvas including the sides you can also go and add primer if you want but since this canvas was already i didn't thought it to be necessary Once it's fully dry, I'm gonna sketch the design but first I'm gonna mark the center so that the arch is pretty symmetric and yes the inner perfection of me could not help it so I took my ruler and mark everything out. And then using this DIY compass hack, I sketch out my arch. And to paint, I created this terracotta kind of color by mixing some Bunciana, red and deep orange. And while I was painting this color, I realized that the background was too much yellowish which is not what I want so afterward I went back and painted it white. Since this piece is made of two colors so if you turn into some mistake you can totally fix that. Now I'm gonna go sketch out my moon and stars and also I'm gonna go freehand this one to create a nice crescent shaped moon. And to paint I'm using this fine brush. This one is a double zero and there is also a triple zero and it has a nice grip. I'm very happy that I invested on this set. Since many of you know, I do lots of scrapbook journaling and I usually paint miniature art for that. So this pack just came in handy and if you guys want, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. Thank you. 
also paint some wavy lines which I think represent either sand dunes or oceans and once it's dried you have your very own art piece. I don't know about you guys, I really love this piece, it gives me dreamy and cozy vibe which I definitely want to incorporate in my house so I'm very glad that I did. Okay, so for this project I have taken an ivory shade which I think is a thick cardstock. I don't know what it is used for but you can use cardstock or watercolor paper whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna use whatever I have in hand. So for the inspo I didn't have anything in particular I'm just gonna refer to different pieces that I saw over the internet and to begin I'm gonna go and paint a sun. You guys know how much I love celestial things and for the paint I just mix some yellow and some orange to create a warm yellow color and yes I'm gonna freehand this one cause nothing is to be perfect. And for the other corner I just mix some red and burnt sienna to create this dark reddish brown color which I'm gonna paint just roughly nothing in particular to fill up some spaces. If you mix a color which you like a lot like me, just put in some airtight storage for further purpose. So now for the foreground, I'm gonna create some leaf which again I'm gonna go and freehand it. This is one of those reasons I love painting abstract pieces that there is no rhyme or reason for it. You just do whatever you like. And I think it gives artists more flexibility to create pieces that does not define boundaries. And I also love painting abstract pieces because I'm not good at painting, that's not my game. But still, I want to tell other people that you can still paint even though you are naive. And I would totally recommend everyone to try this. And if you try this, do tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your versions. While it was drying, I went back and added more leaf using black marker. And now for this part, I'm gonna go paint some leaves with white paint. And also I love the contrast of white over brown as you have seen in my previous art piece that I created. You guys know I'm a bit of extra so I went and added a coat 
using some basic calligraphy method after i was okay with the orientation and alignment of the fonts and for those who are curious i just wrote down stay creative which i usually say at the end of my every video and also to remind myself every day to stay creative and once you're happy with it pop in a frame or stick or hang it up on the wall and there you go <laughs> So for this one I have had this picture frame for a while and I took out the picture and the hook at the back. I was about to use this for something else but eventually I forgot for what. So I decided to turn this into something nice like an art piece. But first thing first I'm gonna take out the pieces of the frame for that I'm using my trusty screwdriver. And guys yes I use this to mix paint so you can see some color patches. But first, I'm gonna go and clean my glass with some facial wipes. And then I'm gonna place my design underneath. And guys, as I said, my inner perfectionism again come out to make sure everything is right. Once I was happy, I placed a tissue so to avoid any more handprints. And then I took my white paint marker and I placed some additional paper to make sure I have even stroke. And then I just traced over my design. And also to avoid copyright issue, I'm gonna link the image that I used here. And also you guys, this piece is super versatile. If you run into any mistakes, you can wipe it out and redo again so you can constantly change the art in it. Now for the backing I'm gonna take one piece paint it in black with other pieces and other one I'm gonna cover up with some burlap. And yes this is not the best burlap you'll ever see but this is what I had and I'm glad that I was able to use it. assemble I took all my backings and then I put my glass and also I forgot to tell you here I'm putting the paint side inside so if you do that way make sure you invert your image too so you don't run into some problem Then I just added the other pieces off camera and once you do that you have something like this. That's pretty much it and thank you guys.
guys so much for watching this video and i hope you like this and if you like this don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also comment down below which project was your favorite or what you want to see me doing next and i say that way too often but today you guys are definitely going to come in because it's time for the surprises that i was talking about in my previous videos and yes it's time for the giveaway many of you would have been known by this time because i put up on my thumbnail and my title i do put a lot of time on those things but but yes i know i know that some of you would be thinking that it's too soon to do a giveaway but you know i'm a very overwhelming person and you guys been supporting and cooperating with me all this time and i was really glad for those things so i really thought i would definitely do a giveaway i don't care if it's too soon or too late but yes i'm gonna do a giveaway so i made these two art pieces i'm gonna pop up the image right here and yes i made this out of taking out of uh, taking time out of my very tight schedule and i did this too meanwhile i was doing all this diy project so yes guys i would definitely gonna frame them and then gonna give away so there would be two lucky winners gonna win this either one of this so yeah to do enter the giveaway you have to just comment down below so the youtube algorithm knows that you have commented and then when the giveaway ends i'm gonna do the random comment picker generator cinemagic and the winner is gonna be contacted via instagram and yes guys this is totally free of cost because subscribing my channel is free of cost yes and if you haven't subscribed subscribe my channel right now so yeah so uh, since you are my subscriber it's gonna be totally free of cost you're not gonna have to pay the shipping charges and any inconvenience fees i don't know what is that but you don't have to pay anything it's just free of cost and if you live somewhere where i can approach in person i will definitely give away with my own hands but if not i would definitely post it to you so yes this giveaway would start as soon as this video goes live until 31st october 5 pm and then i'm gonna wrap up everything and i'm gonna do this random youtube commenter pin cup cinema i don't know what's that so yeah guys i'm gonna definitely gonna put up the rules and regulation again in the description so you can be very clear with it and i don't want this video to be too super long so yeah i'm gonna wrap up everything so if you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel help me to grow and also put on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post new videos until then stay inspired stay creative and spread love and i'm gonna see you in the next one Bye.